Hey everybody, this is John from DroidDog.com and I just wanted to make a quick video on the MIUI ROM. I'm not sure if I'm even saying that right, it's M-I-U-I, that was created for the N1 and Desire but has been ported over to the Evo now. And it's a pretty dramatic reimagining of Android in that, um, well first of all, you don't even have an app drawer. Uh, you have all of these icons and they're custom icons on your home screen uh, in the same way that the iOS does it. And you also have folders. Um, that look a lot like the iOS folders and if you long press on the home screen and get your widget drawer here which has got a wooden theme and drag a folder down to one of your home screens which you can see here and then go onto that home screen you can just drag and drop icons onto it and they show up in the preview and as you can see I'm uh, dragging and dropping icons straight from and to this dock at the bottom, which I guess you can't put folders on there, which holds five. I haven't tried six yet. Now it just replaces it if you try to go for six. And then you have this uh, slider down here at the bottom of the screen for moving between your home screens. And the customized, you'll see the notifications bar is a transparent theme. If you drop that down, you have a long list of uh, toggle options here. Vibrate, Bluetooth, GPS, uh, syncing, um, something about CPU, airplane mode, brightness, and power. And you can see there's custom fonts throughout everything here. Some of it is still in Chinese, so I'm not aware of what all of these things say. So if you long press the screen, you get an option up here for widgets and for folders. You can also drag apps to the trash here for an, un they uninstall if you drag them there. Uh, and then you can tap here for wallpapers. I don't think there's anything custom loaded there, but it could be, I'm not sure where these come from. Now, I know I'm missing a lot. I'm not even sure what is and is not functional. I've noticed a lot of apps that uh, normally come with Android have not been installed. Um, oh, the camera's working for me now. Earlier, when I hit camera, it said it was not, not installed. It could have synced, though, from my online backup. So as you can see in this uh, widget and folder drawer, it's almost like an app drawer. And you have the three little dots at the bottom showing you how much room you have left in there. Also, you'll notice next to the widgets, there's a preview of how much room it's going to take up. It says 4x4 here, but it also shows you. So you can see that the power control is just one unit high. Oh yeah, I have to drag and drop. Drive it down there. So, And the lock screen shows you if you have waiting calls or messages. If you just want to go straight to your home screen, you just press on the lock symbol and slide it up. If you want to go straight to messages, press down on the symbol for text messages, slide it up, and there you go. So that's it. Uh, like I said, I, I'm sure I haven't covered everything in this ROM, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick pick, peek of it running on the Evo, um, originally created for the N1 and Desire, the MIUI, if that's how you say it, ROM by some Chinese developers, and it looks pretty slick.